Today, let's talk about the 10 steps to physical intimacy. I believe this list was created by Linda Howard years ago, and it's kind of been passed around from romance author to romance author on how the physical touching, kissing, hand-holding progression should work in your novel. Lisa, best-selling author of the Cinderella and Her Seven Guards series, and on this channel we talk all about romance writing, specifically for newbie and aspiring romance authors. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday. Now today we're talking about the 10, or sometimes it's called 12, levels of physical intimacy. So in theory, all of these levels will help build a natural progression to your couple having sex or not having sex or being ready to have sex because you could have a different heat level where maybe it's a sweet romance and the climax of the story is a kiss. You see this a lot on the Hallmark Channel and there is nothing wrong with that. So we're going to go all the way through each of these steps from beginning to end. Now, they, just so you know, your story should follow these steps in this exact order. The first three actually have nothing to do with talking. It's just more of an acknowledgement of each other's physical presence. So the first one is just eyes to body. So not eyes to face, it's the body. So you'll see this a lot in books where they'll say, you know, the one character will remark on how the other one has a smoking hot body or great hips or really tight abs or broad shoulders. So this is eye to body. The second one is eye to eye. So you'll they'll say so and so has sparkling blue eyes or her gaze pierced into my soul. All right. That's a little cliche, but you know what I mean. So it should be eye to eye. They've actually made eye contact and they're acknowledging each other. And the third one, again, it's not touch, it's just voice. So you'll hear each other's voice, whether that is a greeting or you hear or overhear them talking to somebody else or at a meeting and you'll hear them say his voice was rough and raspy or her voice was sweet and sounded like a melody. And that is, those are the first three before you ever get to any touching. So now we're finally ready to move into the fourth step, which is physical contact. And that first physical contact is hand to hand. So that could be a handshake. Sometimes they'll set up sort of meet cutes where one character will fall on the floor and the other one has to help them up or someone's dropped something and they'll hand it to them. Or maybe one person is a vendor and the other person's a buyer and they will exchange cash. Uh, so this is the hand to hand stage. The next stage after you move, so just so you know, it's really just from the wrist down, that's all you're allowed to touch at the fourth step and then after that you can touch anywhere from the wrist up to the shoulder so it says hand to shoulder but that could also be your elbow or your forearm or something else and maybe they're walking along and someone needs to pull someone out of the way or they just maybe do a reassuring pat on each other because they are at a meeting or something like that okay maybe not a meeting but Either way, the touching is only from the shoulder, uh, the shoulders down. Now, the next stage after that, it says is the hand to waist. Now, to me, that feels kind of awkward. Even right now, my boyfriend who I live with never touches my waist. I don't know, maybe we're just not close enough, but I just find that a little awkward. So in all of my novels, you'll notice that I have just ignored that stuff. And I think that's okay if you want to ignore that step as well, because sometimes it's just really awkward to do a hand to waist, unless you're at a rock concert and you're both facing the same way. And for some reason you don't have seats next to each other, you have seats one behind the other. I don't know, or it's standing room only. So that is hand to waist. Now, after that, we finally move to the kissing part. So at this point, it's mouth to mouth, not mouth to mouth resuscitation, but you guys could actually kiss. And after that comes hand to head. So this could be somebody, you know, petting someone's hair, or in most of my books, the kissing and the hand to the hair go together at the same time, as well as the next step, which is hand to body. It doesn't really specify if it's a leg or a knee or a calf or a glutes, it, I don't know, it just says hand to body, somewhere as long as it's appropriate. So this is all about touching that's appropriate in public. So we're finally ready to move on to step 10, 11, and 12, which is kind of implying that we're about to have sex or do sexual acts because it does prescribe that these acts should again be behind closed doors. 
doesn't necessarily have to be if that doesn't follow your story. However, it just kind of means these are private moments. So the first one is hand to the breast. Obviously a woman's breast because a woman touching a man's breast isn't really that intimate. So that is the first of the three steps. This is why I call it 10, 11, 12. That's number 10. And number 11 is hand to the private parts down below under the waist. And number 12 is both private parts under the waist touching each other. I don't know how these videos are audited. So for uh, PG 13-ness, so I'm not gonna say any bad words. You know what I mean, that is steps 11 and 12. So let's just recap. Remember the first three had nothing to do with touching. It was just acknowledging each other's presence. So eye to body eye to eye, and then it was voice to voice. And then the next three were just hand to hand, so somewhere from the wrist down, then anywhere from the wrist to the shoulder, and then somewhere around the waist, which is the part that I always skip because it just seems a little awkward unless you're at country line dancing or maybe you're doing a polka. And then the next one, we're going to do some kissing, and then we have hand to head, and then we have hand to body. Doesn't specify where exactly, but we're assuming it's public display appropriate. And then finally, we move to closed door activities. This is where it goes into 10 to 12, which is the mouth to breast for women. And then it moves into the hand to lower body extremity parts, and then lower Lower body extremity parts on both people. So that's the progression from one to 10 or 12 or whatever you want to call it. Remember, these are not hard and fast rules, so adapt them however they feel like they will naturally fit into your story and what your characters would organically do together. Now, if you are interested in learning how to plot your first romance, I have a free course called How to Plot your first romance. So make sure to sign up. It is free and the link is in the description below. All right. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I will see you guys next week. Bye.